bit of a disclaimer, this is actually my second week of vlogging, but I'm probably not going to upload much of the first week, because I was testing out a new camera, this thing at the moment, which is the Insta360, no, Insta360 uh, X3, they've dropped the one from the name for some reason, I was really disappointed. Last week, the video looked like ass, and the audio was rubbish. Apparently, log on this is, yeah, it's So now I'm recording everything in standard. Uh, I've changed the settings for the audio a little bit, and I'm gonna make this today the first day of the vlog. It's happening. Work on the woody has finally begun. They're taking down this last wrong thing, taking down fingerboards. We're gonna get a magnificent new woody here. This week's my second week back. To clay climbing. Last week, I just, I don't know, I was sat massively lacking in mileage and endurance and just climbing exp experience anymore. Last week was loads and loads of circuits, very little of anything else, just to get the mileage in. I did one session where I just did a whole load of the yellows, the really easy stuff. I can't remember what grade they were. This week, whites are going up again. I want to just use this week as practicing doing loads and loads of the whites just to get myself back into it. Hopefully, I'm not rushing into it too quickly because it's been about two months since I did proper climbing. Those guys are making some serious progress. Everything's down. Change of plan. I'm absolutely starving. And now I'm gonna see what this thing is like outdoors. Last week when I tried this, this was rubbish. Just straight up rubbish. According to forums, it's mostly because I was recording in log, which I normally do in the past because that's what I was used to with the previous cameras. But now I'm gonna try it with just the standard color. I don't expect an awful lot from the dynamic range. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. I'm really curious as to what they are doing here. Hmm. So this used to be the old Pyogem car park when Pyogem was still open. They closed it during the summer holidays. And apparently, from what I've heard, rumor wise, going to be replaced by student accommodation. Right for Bristol Uni. But I have no idea what the plans for the car park are, and it's weird that something's going on, because that's been vacant and blocked off ever since I started working, like five years ago. So, hmm, mystery. I will be honest, I have no idea if I'm actually getting better. I know it's only been a week since I started doing mileage again, just to get stronger. Well, not necessarily stronger, just get back into climbing shape. But my God, like I'm still super pumped just by doing really easy circuits. Not doing, I, I don't know. Am I doing well? Am I not doing well? Is one week a bit unrealistic? I don't really know anymore. I don't even know how to coach anymore, I think. Certainly can't coach myself. This was a pretty thuggy one here. That's pretty good. That hold is actually a lot better than I was expecting. I thought that was going to be crap. But actually, the hard bit was the match because there are no real good footholds. I should have, in hindsight, really stood on this one, to be fair. All right, that was actually a pretty fun one. My finger strength is definitely not where it used to be because small holes just really hurt. And I just need to get myself back into it to be a fair. I think I've got power still. Endurance, I'll just keep working on the circuit board. But as far as finger strength goes, I need to get myself back climbing harder stuff. Maybe jumping on the moon board, possibly doing some fingerboard stuff. I'll be honest, I don't like the fingerboard. One, it's boring, and two, it scares me. I think it's fair to say that it's way easier to film on the Pocket 2 than this. The wireless mic and remote combo that the thing has is, it's so much easier to use. And I didn't realize how lazy I was because it's so convenient. This, on the other hand, is a bit of a ball ache. We have to run backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards to press the thing and start again. And it's not gonna pick any of the audio up properly. I'm, I'm probably gonna keep this over the Pocket, uh, over the old, 1x2. The improvement between the two really is as massive as all these YouTube videos claim to be because, well, that's not difficult. The old one was crap. The Pocket 2 is so much more convenient. I'm just terrified of taking it out because it is a gimbal.
this is a problem that I can't blame on finger strength. I'm a coach, I should be able to re read this. My biggest complaint about this camera so far, it is so, so slow. Outrageously slow. I swear it's slower than the old one. If at any point I wanted to just whip it out quickly and film something, like it takes like 10 seconds to get booted up and start recording and everything. There is no way you're going to be able to clip, uh, capture anything quickly, like on the instance, because you've got to, you have to prepare. It's so slow. I've got a thought, potentially a stupid idea. Not the best day, but I'm not gonna lie, it was a better day than I was expecting. I've got a few projects I can work on, I think. Um, even though I'm not supposed to this weekend. Weekend? Not supposed to this week. The work continues, but I can't deny it is looking good. Cool. Looking forward to this. This sounds really stupid. I'm up this early in the morning, literally, to do one and only one thing. Uh, apparently not ready yet. I am too early, what the hell? And it's not like we can just nick it from this pile that's being assorted, because the thing I want is down there. Oh, you have there's four in there? Yeah. Oh, beautiful stuff. Thank you very much. <laughs> you really want them. Brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, mission accomplished. <laughs> Silly thing now is, I'm just going to put that stuff in my van and leave it there for a couple of weeks. Halloween is not for ages and ages and ages yet. Go figure. But that's when the discounts begin. 
I'll probably start having to shop for co Christmas stuff as of next week, who knows. I am super curious as to what they're doing. It looks like something to do with the drains, but I'm not entirely sure. What are they going to do with this area? Mystery, mystery. It is a very cold morning this morning. I'm trying to think about how I want to structure these vlogs because at the moment there's no real purpose to them and I'm just vlogging for the sake of vlogging. Even I wouldn't watch most of it because yeah, I said before ages ago that I don't really enjoy watching vlogs of people climbing unless like it's a project they are doing outdoors. There's one that Stefan Gustolfi did recently which was really, really cool because there was actual purpose to that. There was a story, there was a project. But my one's like, meh, I'm just, I'm just climbing. So I need to try and figure out how to structure these things so it's just a little bit more interesting for even me to watch in future. I'll figure something out, I'll figure something out. Oh, I need to pee now, God damn it. This white one, I can't, I, okay, previously, I couldn't, I couldn't do the last move previously, and now I can't even do the penultimate move. I don't know, I've got some week over the weekend. Oh, no. You're cheering that helps me. <laughs> finally done, finally done. Okay, right. Um, can I do it consistently? Heck no. But at least I can find something else now. 